Hi there, welcome to this build of a 49 inch wingspan Diamond Demon. Now this is a lovely vintage model from the late 1930s and we're building this from a really great set of plans from Ben Buckle. Now in the last video, as you can see here, we got the wings covered and we've covered them in Doculam with a nice Japanese Asuka tissue over the top and that went really well. We've polyurethane that down as a fuel proofer but it still needs two more coats and I've still got that to do. But in this video we're going to turn our attentions to the tail. We're going to be covering the fin and the rudder and the tailplane. Now I'm going to be doing that again in Doculam and covering that in tissue in exactly the same way as I did the wings. So if you want more detail about putting the Doculam on and how the tissue was put on then go back and have a look in the previous video and there'll be a link in the description below this video uh, pointing, you, uh, pointing you to that video. So I've cleaned up the tailplane and the fin and the rudder assembly, I've profiled it and I've put a control horn on the rudder which we'll have a, a close look at in a second and I'm also just going to modify the tail very slightly before I cover it just to thicken up where the hinges go but we'll take a look at that now. Well I think I just said I was going to modify the tail before I covered it what I actually meant was I was going to modify the tail plane so essentially where the hinges come through on this uh, balsa here it's only one eighth thick so I'm just going to put another piece of balsa at the back of here one eighth just to thicken that up to give a little bit more purchase there and I'm planning to pin these hinges I don't think I'll glue them I think I'm just going to pin them they're really tight fit at the moment and I think that will be fine as far as the covering I'm going to be doing the uh, tail uh, the, sorry the fin and the rudder assembly first because I want to get that done and then make sure that once it's covered it still fits in the tail plane nice and snugly. I get a feeling that it's going to be quite tight once I've covered it and I may have to make this slot a little bit bigger. So we'll put that aside for the moment and I'll get that extra balsa in. Now this is all profiled up nicely I've put a little bit of a I've tapered it down on the back edge here and uh, I put a, a nice ball nose on the front. Now I've put a control horn on here and I've made this from 1.5mm uh, it's uh, like fiberglass epoxy board it's kind of stuff you use for circuit boards. On the plans it shows a piece of balsa in here so that you can bolt on one of these plastic uh, control horns which I don't really like and also with it being white it will really stand out so I thought it'd be nicer to have something a little bit more subdued so I've got the black I haven't got the bolts and I just thought that would look a lot neater and a lot nicer I haven't drilled the hole in yet I need to do that when I'm uh, when I'm doing the servos but you can see that's just been glued in there with epoxy and this is really really strong that's not going to break and I've put the balsa on the top here just so I've got something for the doculam to stick onto. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the doculam on, the, on uh, both sides of this and then get the tissue. One of the things that I don't like doing is overlapping the tissue on the joints because it gives a uh, it, it changes the color of the tissue it goes slightly darker because you've got two layers so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this back edge here because I don't really want to overlap it if I can help it more than necessary but we'll have a look at that in a bit I'll get the docu uh, the uh, doculam on and the doculam I'm using is this uh, uh, 38 micron doculam so I just bought it off eBay, it's used for document laminating machines, really thin and uh, it comes on 150 meter rolls so it's, it's really cheap and there's a shiny side which is the outward facing side 
and there is a matte side which is the the glue side so we have the mat down right, I've now got the uh, the doculan onto the uh, onto the fin and the rudder there's a very slight bit of a, a ripple here and, and down here but I think they'll disappear once I get the tissue on so I'm going to do them both in the orange and then when we come to the tailplane that's going to be blue on the top and orange underneath I realized I hadn't actually said what colors I were gonna, was going to do so I think what I'll probably do is uh, one side of the rudder, one side of the fin wait for that to dry and then turn it over and, uh, and do the other side right well, I've now got these covered in the orange tissue and the, the varnish on and I've just done a very small overlap on this side and when I do the tissue on this side I'll try and almost butt it up against that so we don't have the uh, sort of a, a, a darker line where the join is but I'm quite pleased with how that's looking so I'll just wait for those to dry trim them up and then we'll get that other side done right these uh, have been covered now on both sides done them both in the same day and uh, they're just drying now so I'm just uh, just got them held with clamps but I'm pleased with how it's gone on there's no wrinkles it looks great and you've got a little bit of a, an overlap here which I think hopefully that doesn't show up too much but you can see it on the camera and the same here there's a seam that comes down there is it that side yeah it is down there which again isn't too much I, I still need to trim up this end and just along the bottom here where it slots into the fin but I'm going to leave that now until tomorrow until it's dry the other thing I've been doing is playing around with some hinges these are the Dubro small hinges and um, they're really nice thin hinges this is uh, 1 8 by 3 16 timber and I've just been slotting these in the same as I will with the, the, the rudder and the uh, elevator and I've attached them or fixed them in three different ways this one I just punch through a pin in two places and wick CA in this one I punch through two short pins cut off and, um, and wick CA and this one I drilled a two millimeter hole and just knocked through a piece of cocktail stick and then CA'd it and to be honest with all three of these I think you would have to destroy the structure to get them out they're really secure this one with the steel pins isn't the easiest to do it's probably the hardest to do wicking is easy enough but I, I don't really like that I'd like to have some kind of peg this one with the cocktail stick is great drill it through you knock the, the um, cocktail stick in just trim it off and then you can wick, uh, wick CA around on both sides to secure it and if you want to change it then it might be easier just to drill out the um, the cocktail stick at some point whereas if you've got steel pins I guess that's going to be harder but I, I like that method and once you've done the cocktail stick on the rudder you can just put a small circle of um, uh, the tissue over the top to cover the, uh, the the damage or the hole you've put in it so I think that is a good way to go and I think that's probably what I'm going to be doing well I've really been cracking on with this now and I've got the uh, the fin and the rudder finished I've got those hinges done and I've done a little bit of strengthening on this which we can have a, a closer look at so you can see the pegs going through here it's a shame they're they're as dark as they are and show up as much as uh, as they do i guess when i come to do it on the tail plane they won't show up quite as much because of the darker tissue but i have put little circles on top here just to cover those over after i'd ca them and to cut those i just use this hole punch and i put some of the tissue on a little bit of cardboard to give it something thicker and, uh, and that gave me some, some quite nice circles, circles in there. Hopefully you can see I need to dig out. Now, I've also strengthened the, um, the tail plane. And what I've done is, and if I just get a cocktail stick, 
what I've done is I've put on a little bit of extra balsa there to make this uh, tongue longer that fits in the back of the fuselage but I was concerned about how weak this would be so what I've done is I've drilled through that up into this piece of half inch balsa here probably goes more or less all the way through and then I've just CA'd that in place and I've also done this, a similar thing here I don't know whether that hole shows up but just so I can shove a cocktail stick in there glue it in and that will just because these cocktail quick sticks are quite strong and that will just give a little bit more strength to these structures because if you remember this slots through the um, the tailplane and then these go into the fuselage and at the corresponding slots in the fuselage I've also added a little bit of balsa just to uh, just to strengthen that up and you can see here so when this goes in and I'm not going to slot it in all the way I don't think but you can just see it, it, it slots in there and it will give more more area to glue just a little bit more strength than this 116 sheet well as you saw there I've got the uh, tailplane covered and finished as well and that has come out really nice I'm really pleased with the finish on that and it's funny because when I built this, I built it in quite soft timber and it felt really weak and insubstantial and I thought perhaps I should have used some harder balsa. But actually the covering has given this quite a lot of strength, it feels so much better. So uh, hopefully it will take a little bit of uh, rough and tumble, So, but we'll see. And the Doculam went on this really nice, uh, very few wrinkles. And, uh, and and shrunk down quite nicely and the tissue just the same as before uh, put it on wet and then uh, and then polyurethaned it now you can see I've got the the hinges in here and that's really nice and free but what I'm going to do now or what I'm going to do now is I still need to pin these because I haven't pinned them yet so I think the, the, the last things I've got to do with this uh, now with this tailplane assembly or this tail assembly is to get those hinges done. I then need to get the slot in and we need to actually fit the rudder and the fin into the slot and see how it fits on the back of the plane. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill the holes in the, uh, in the control horn here on the, uh, on the rudder. I've put a little bit of masking tape and marked up where those where those are I think once I've got this assembly together it's going to be very difficult uh, to do it without punching a hole in the uh, in the covering or breaking it or somehow I haven't put a control horn on the elevator yet I am going to use a plastic control horn which will go on the underside so it it won't be visible and I'm going to bolt that through with some black two mil domed head uh, hex bolts on the top and I've got somewhere here we go I've made a little black I don't know whether that, that shows up a little black uh, plate which will go on the top of the elevator just to secure those bolt heads stop them pulling through I mean when you get the control horn uh, it comes with this white uh, with this white plate to put on the top but I just think having a black on that blue tissue will look uh, will look so much better what I'm going to do now is like I say I'll get this fitted and we'll see what it looks like well I've now got the uh, the fin the rudder and the tail plane together and on the fuselage and it's great it's really exciting to see how this is looking now and how this color scheme is really starting to take shape I, I must admit I don't know whether it's obvious but I haven't pushed the the fin fully home into the tail plane I, I don't really want to do that now because I'm going to take it apart and I'll only do it when I'm putting it together for the last time because I don't want to kind of weaken the um, the covering on the tail plane by pulling it out but anyway you can get an idea of what it looks like now and you can see I've just got delivered today some black elastic bands 
and I thought those would look really nice to, uh, to hold the wing on, much better than white or sort of rubber coloured, just thought they would kind of blend a little bit nicer. So they're a bit thinner than perhaps the really big wing bands, but I can put two or three on and that'll be great. To be honest, I tried with some big wing, wing bands and they were, they were a little bit too much to pull and I was worried about doing some damage. So anyway, I'm going to draw this video to a close now. And it really is exciting to see this taking shape. And I hope you're enjoying seeing this build, this build series. Now in the next video, I'm going to be essentially mocking it up to see, I'm going to be mocking it up with all of the components that we can't move, like the engine, the wheels, um, the battery and stuff like that. All the stuff we can't move so I can see where the CG is naturally falling so that we can then be informed as to where we put the servos and the battery for the servos and the receiver because those are the items we can move. You know, we can put them back here or we can move them uh, up front. We don't want to move them too close to the spark ignition system. But it will be good to do that uh, mock-up just to get an idea of where we are. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found it useful and uh, I hope you're enjoying seeing this develop as much as I am.